Hey guys, so today we are going to do the Instagram star filter for our Halloween makeup look. I picked up this EK Tools star punch to create a stencil that we'll use on our face. Easier said than done. Whoa. <laughs> Make it smaller, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. Hey Nick. Yeah? Could you help me? What do you need? You're an engineer. I don't understand how this is supposed to s cut into a star shape. How does this work? See that chamfer? Chamfer. Chamfer, a symmetrical sloping surface at an edge or a corner. Yeah, this is a chamfer. Okay. See how that lines up there? Oh, you wanna do it for me? Woo. Okay, so now that I have my little star thingy, I never said I was good at like engineering stuff, okay? I want to show you guys what the filter looks like. I mean, I think you guys probably know already, but not a ton of people use the filter. I love this filter. Ew, I hate that. <laughs> okay, here's what I'm going to look like once I put the stars on my face. Let me use liquid lipsticks to do this and I have these three shades that I think match the shades of the stars in the filter really well and these are from IBY Beauty these are their liquid to matte lipsticks and I've tried these on my actual lips like as a real lipstick and they're really good they last a super long time and the colors it's so saturated pigment like really intense pigment um, this one is Cosmo this one is Ruby, and this one is Vamp. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in so you can see how I do this up close. Okay, so obviously first step, which I guess I kinda already skipped over, is like do your makeup how you would normally do your makeup, cause in the filter it's just like whatever you're in, like your makeup, you know. Okay. <laughs> pretty random how these all go but it's basically like where you would have freckles they're basically like star freckles so I guess let's just start with one like right here you want like a smaller piece of paper so that it, you don't have like the huge a huge regular sized piece of paper up in your face like this size is pretty good I think I'm even gonna make it smaller like the edges where there's nothing there anyways that way I can really get up in here so let's do one right here. So first, let's do this bright pink one. This is Cosmo. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too much product. Actually, that's a good idea. I'm gonna make sure I don't have too much product. So I'm gonna put the majority of the product off the tube on my hand because I don't want it to be like really goopy. I want it to be a super thin layer so that it's not like all gross on my face. and hold this firm to your face. Okay, I'm gonna let it dry for a second, and then I'm gonna lift up really, like, straight up. I'm not gonna, like, lift it sideways or anything. So there's my first star. Let's do one, like, right below it. I'm gonna make sure there's no, oh, you have to be careful, because sometimes on the other side of this, it gets some, so you don't want that smearing on you, so just make sure that that's gone. I'm gonna do the red shade, Ruby, and I'm gonna make sure most, and you get to see a little swatchy swatchy. I'm gonna make sure most of what's on this is gone, because I don't want a ton of product like caking up. Let's do, let's do, the, this star looks smaller than this star. A by a little bit. So I'm going to do that star. I'm going to try and do it right here. Ooh, yay! So fun! And this is going to last you all night. Like, you're not going to have to worry. I know when I was kind of researching for ways to do this filter, I saw a tutorial where someone glued, like, um, little cutout stars with duo glue or like lash glue onto their face but that could fall off like this these liquid lipsticks are gonna stay I actually hope it doesn't stain my face I think since I have my foundation on I should be okay but 
that's so cute I'm gonna do one like on the side of my nose because there's always one there and I'll do it with the third shade I have which is vamp Ooh, so pretty and I think right now too I will put these in the description bar if you're interested in these as like actual lipsticks instead of just for Halloween I think they are having an October sale so I will put all of that information down in the description bar in case you're interested. They're super affordable. So yeah, I'm gonna do one like right here. Now this is gonna be a little tricky because my nose, obviously it's, it's like not a flat surface. So we'll see if I can make this work. I'm gonna make sure to press this as hard as possible. Oh yeah! Perfect. Now there's a few little baby stars. I don't even know if you can see them, but I'm going to do some of those with this color as well, like more here. Oh yeah, cute. I'm going to do more of those like, with a different color. Let's go back to the bright pink shade, the Cosmo shade. And let's do one more little star here. Perfect! <laughs> I also want to do a little one right here and I think I'm going to use the dark shade again. Vamp. This is my favorite shade, this vamp shade. Okay, now let's do like a few on this side and then we're done. I'm going to do a dark one again using vamp right here. Okay, so there's that one. I'm going to do this shade. What's this again? Ruby. Right on my nose. And you want to make sure you bend the paper with your nose so that there's no gaps between your face and the cutout. Okay, I'm going to do two small ones here and then be done. And I'm going to use the hot pink shade, Cosmo. Okay, that's it. That is the Instagram filter. I think this is so cute and easy for Halloween. Even if like people don't know what it is, which I think they will know what it is, but even if they don't, it's still cute. Um, so yeah, so this is the Instagram filter. I'm going to zoom you guys out so you can just see my whole face. <laughs> so this is the finished Halloween look. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!